Hello. So, I ain't got no nail viewer. But for those who do chime in at a later moment, I am Tamika Mirabel King, your girl Tika Talks. I am late, y'all. <sighs> Shaking my head. Now, I say that I'm going to be working actively and effectively on all things, you know, every day. It ain't even got nothing to do with the year. It's just at all times, right? Time management, though. Lord, somebody pray my strength in the Department of Time Management. So, I'm off track a little bit because I went to go visit my granddad and chill with my grandma. So, you know. Um, what y'all doing? How y'all New Year's going so far? What's up? What's up? Hello, somebody. I see y'all joining me. Hello, hello, hello. What's up? So, I done pulled over park so I could holler at y'all real quick. I hate to pull my hat down because it's like dark and y'all can't really see me, you know what I'm saying? Bad hair day, for real. So, anywho, um, who up here? Y'all tell me, hey, what's up? Hello, and Yana. Hey, girl. Thank you for pouring into me today. Thank you, darling. So, um, tonight's topic though so i'm having this conversation with my grandma you know we just talking she you know that's my boo and she was like don't say what you won't do you know sometimes we say what we will not do thank you you are too sometimes we say what we won't do and she was like you know then that might hold something up that god has for you or that god is trying to do for you you know a blessing or whatever the next big thing is that god is trying to do in your life perhaps saying what you're not willing to do could be holding it up and i was like mm. okay first of all i don't want to hear that and secondly god that's so true right hey cat y'all look at my husband he look like a sub mm -hmm. yo uh you, you know what's up brother you <laughs> I am Tasha. Thank you. Um, but do you know how many times we be saying what we're not going to do? I was like, you know what? Lord, forgive me. Because anything and everything that you would like for me to do, I am willing. And I can't just say I'm willing and not really be willing to do it. When we say we're willing to do something, we need to be willing to do it. And one thing that I have struggled to do is completely surrender as it relates to every aspect of my life, giving every bit of me and every bit of every area of my life over to God and not trying to be in control. Because, you know, in one of my previous videos, I told y'all that when somebody begins to surrender, pain is associated with surrendering. So you're going to be suffering. You're going to have to endure some things. You're, you might, you know, you're going to want to tap out. And as for me and the things that I have had to endure and experience in the season that God is choosing to train me up, help me become who I was really created to be, um, God knows I have just been hurt internally in more ways than one as God has been like, you got to stop that. You can't act like this. You can't say that. You know, we have to maneuver and be different. But to relinqu relinquish all of our control, to allow him to be in control. You already know. You know, just think about how when you're on your job, certain people struggle with authority, period. So, you know, you could be on your job and God, y'all, I ain't even had, I have not had a nine to five in a minute. But when I was working, you know, sometimes you don't want to hear what the people over you have to say. You don't want to do what they're telling you to do. You think you know a better way. You want to be, you know, you want to control some different things about whatever you're doing because you might think, okay, well, I found an easier way to do it or I found a better way to do it or what you're asking me to do, you know, isn't good or isn't right, whatever it is. But understand, it doesn't matter because if you don't do what you're supposed to do, 
you just might lose your job. You know what I'm saying? And although your calling is not something that you're going to lose, you you may not really fulfill it. Because sometimes here we are so busy trying to tell God what we're not willing to do, that we're not going to allow him to be in full control. And we want to still hold on to this one little thing, this this one little thing. I'm just going to hold on to this, Lord. Let me still be able to do this. And you know, we're going to be good. No, ma'am. No, sir. You're going to hold up the kingdom work that you're supposed to be doing. Oh, God. Yes, we are. We are definitely salt. Mm, Lord have mercy. And I, I just want to encourage you to, to not hold up the process, to not be the person who is saying, okay, I'm not going to do this and I'm not going to do that. No, I am going to do it. I'm going to do it when you say do it. Lord, give me a spirit of obedience and allow me to be, you know, let me die to myself every single day, all day long. Everything that, that I want to do, that I'm not supposed to want to do, take that away from me. Let me be sensitive to you, Jesus. This is my prayer right now, that God would strengthen me and that he would move me from where I am to where I'm supposed to be. So I've currently been praying, Lord, reveal me to me. I don't know if I heard Sarah Jakes Roberts say that or if um, Torrey Roberts, whoever it was. I'm like, Lord, reveal me to me. That's who I need to. I need to get with her. okay? because she is the person you formed and that's who I'm supposed to be. So this whole process that I've been going through, these breakdowns internally, the you know, the struggle of releasing this and letting go of that and this emotion coming up and you're showing me something that's not right within me that I have to, you know, okay. For instance, I struggle with getting angry, y'all. So, you know, the moment of transparency, things can make me mad and, you know, I don't need to be so quick to get angry. It's okay. So God has been dealing with me on that. That is a process. I'm telling you, because as soon as I send the prayer up, immediately hell will break out. I mean, soon I can, in Jesus name, amen. And here comes Satan with some, some old bull. And I'm like, girl, you know, that prayer must've really been right. I'm on the right track. Last night I said, God, show me that. Y'all see how he do? As soon as I begin that, you know what I'm saying? Here he come trying to play. Yes. Hey, Tessa. You know what? I mean, I am seated in the right position. And I'm praying, God, you know, just let me be sensitive to your voice, to your touch, to your instruction. Everything in this season. So that I can go where you're trying to take me. And without fear. You know, I want to reverence God, but, and, and be fearful of God, you know, but at the same time, I'm going to be fearless as I walk in my calling because God lives in me. So I don't have anything to be afraid of. No one to be afraid of. You know what I'm saying? He's with me. He goes before me. He's looking out for me. He's got my back front side, every single bit of it. So, you know, b because of that, it's time for something different. This city needs to see something different. Your community needs to see something different. Your family needs to see something different. And perhaps God is using you to change the lives of your family. Because I'm telling you, some of us have some families that we want to trade in. Okay? Some people have families that you just be like, I can't even believe I can, I'm part of that. But it is so because God is going to use you to be the light, to be the change, to break the curse. And that's what it is. So while we, we are so concerned with all the wrong things, God is saying, open your eyes to what I'm trying to do. You Let yourself be used for what is right, for what is good, for what it is he's doing in this season. And only he can do it. Hey, Nita. Oh, thank you. Yes, God. Yes, God. Yes, God. I received that. Yes, ma'am, and Yanni. Yes, baby. Yes. You know, I'm telling y'all, you don't see what other people are experiencing, you know, whenever they're going through. 99% of the time, people do not walk around looking like what is going on on the inside of them or what's going on on the inside of their home. And that is for a reason. You know what I'm saying? 
God is doing something great in so many different people, but we fail to recognize what he's doing. We don't even want to tap into it because as soon as it hurts, you're tapping out. But let me just tell you, the more you back out, the longer it's going to take if you even get there. Because some of us are going to die having not even been used up by God because we were too afraid. And we just wanted to remain comfortable in misery. Lord, somebody catch it because it's, it's really uncomfortable. However, you're so used to that dysfunction. You're so used to being unhappy and living paycheck to paycheck that you decide I can't do something else. I'm not going to do anything else. I'm not willing. I'm not worthy. I'm not able. I'm not capable. So I'm going to sit here in this mess and stay like I am. The devil is a lie. It shall not be that way. Not for me, not for my children, not for my children's children. God is doing something new. Something something great and what he's placed on the inside of me has to come up has to come out has to be poured out and placed into other people i'm going to impart something different because he continues to pour it into me oh baby listen we can't be afraid to be used by god he is too good he does too much every single day because if it wasn't for God, we would be crazy somewhere losing our minds. I'm telling you, I would be in jail by now if it was not for God. Because this attitude, this, this level of anger, nobody but Jesus can do what he does. And then he will take and use people that other people think are unworthy. Okay? He will think, you know, people think, oh, well, God ain't using this person and God ain't using that person. Denied. He chooses who he uses. It ain't up to us. So, you know, Apostle Beckton said last year at a women's conference that I was at that, you know, um, people are always making the mistake of running their mouth, saying, talking down about people, you know, so on and so forth. Because we see people in seed form. Oh, you realize when you see a seed, it looks like it has zero value. You don't know what it's capable of producing. Because you only see it at its smallest form. You, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's nothing at the time in which you see it. So you believe. Because you're seeing it in the natural. But once it's placed in the ground. And it goes through all of that dirt. All of that filth even manure and it begins to sprout it begins to produce and it can yield countless crops you know it, things become up you don't even know you don't even know what you can yield yourself based on what god is already planted on the inside of you people just talking down negative nasty judging condemning have no clue don't even know who they put in their mouth on god is going to shut them up do you hear me He's going to shut them all the way up because that's what he does. He does what we can't do. So you don't have to say not one thing. You ain't got to wish bad on not one soul. You, God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. You don't like me. God bless you. You don't like what God is doing in my life. God bless you. You don't want to speak to me. God bless you. It doesn't matter. It is not going to matter, not today, not tomorrow, not the rest of my life, because I'm pleasing to God. And that's who I live for. That's what I'm working for. So you got to get in a place where you understand I am who God says I am. And because of that, I'm enough. I'm good enough. You have to know that. See, everybody else will try to convince you you're not enough. You're not good enough. You're disqualified because of the choices you've made. You don't qualify to be called because of the things you've done, because of the people you ran with, because of the people you slept with, because of the lies you told, because of the stealing you might have done, because of the crimes you've committed. Let me just tell you on tonight that God is saying, I have the final say. He has the final say. Therefore, he can and he will use who he chooses at any time, on any day. Who God? Mm. Y'all, you better let God use you. Get it. Get mm. Catch it, catch it, catch it. Lord, it is my season to come up. It is my season to surrender and relinquish all control. I will walk in faith. I will trust. I will believe. And I will be confident and bold in who God created me to be. That's it. You're not going to shrink or die down, 
for somebody else, you're going to be who God created you to be. And you're going to walk in that fullness because only God can open the doors that are about to open for the people of God who are doing what he has instructed them to do. Obedience is about to whew, rip the door off the hinges for some of us. Eyes have not seen, ears have not heard. So I don't know who going to be on this live. And I pray, Lord, whoever needs to see it, whoever joins now, whoever joins later, God, be my mouthpiece. Tell them what you want them to know. It ain't about me. It's never about me. Anything that I say or do, I don't want it to be about me. I want to be effective. I get zero glory because it's not about Tika. It's not about who I am. It's about whose I am. So anytime that I that I say anything to anybody, I pray that I decrease so God may increase so that you hear and see what he has to say. Don't worry about who it's coming from. You know, because just let just let God use you. When, when he has you to say something, be obedient. Because that's the thing. Sometimes we're afraid to say something to somebody because you're thinking, oh, well, I don't I don't really want to say it. They might think, you know, oh, girl, you were just doing this the other week or last year or, you know, so I'm not going to be um, receptive. Or God can choose to use anybody at any moment that he chooses. And if you're in the right place with God, you're going you're gonna to know if he sent that person to say something to you. So don't be so quick to try to judge somebody that, that shows up and says something to you. Because sometimes we just need a word, okay? I, I Sometimes I need a little bit of encouragement. And that's for real. Hey, James. Right. So, you know, I'm telling y'all, everything that you need is in you. It's always been in you. And so, you know, whenever people try to make you feel like you're not enough, you don't have enough, you can't do more, they are a lie. I don't even know why we believe them. I don't I don't even know why we we, you know, in all that we have done and all that we have experienced, why we would really be sitting there thinking, oh, right, I'm less than. You know what I'm saying? If some of us really think about the different things. Philip, tell Xavion to quit calling me, baby. If if some of us really think about the things that we've already endured, we've already experienced, and we're still here, we're still kept, then you already know that God is trying to do something magnificent in your life. You already know that he wants to use you because you're here. Other people have gone, passed away, okay? I mean, every day somebody is passing away that you know of. When I was little, I ain't, I did not know anything about people dying. And I'm telling you, as an adult, I'm well aware people are dying every single day. Every day. I was having this conversation earlier with somebody else. I love you too. I love you too, Miss Smith. Love you, baby. Thank you for pouring into me today. Um, I was talking to somebody. I'm, I'm going to let y'all go. But I was talking to somebody today. And she was telling me how her son was at K&W in you know, fail to somewhere and he was going to feed a homeless person. Well, they have like this zero tolerance policy, she said. And they were like, you know, oh, you can't buy this meal for this homeless individual. Y'all, I mean, I under sorry. I understand. Hey, <laughs> hey, Cam, I love you too. I understand that you know, we don't know everybody's situation or what they're going through, but really, that's what it's coming down to, that we would deny somebody a meal that somebody else is willing to purchase. Is it just me? But when, when I'm in need of some food, I mean, do you know what it feel like to have hunger pains? I'm, and I don't even think we really experience it because the majority of us can eat something. We we can even choose what we're going to eat on that day many days. Now, I have been days where I couldn't. You know what I'm saying? There were days that I didn't have enough money to feed me and my children, and I fed my children, and I didn't eat. But, you know, that, that was okay. Oh, yeah, there, there were days that I had that going on. But it, at any rate, you know, we would do that. We would actually throw food out instead of letting somebody buy somebody some food. I'm mad at that. 
You got to be kidding me. We have to be better as people. I, I just, that blew my mind. So, we got to start doing more, period. Because the world needs changes and the changes are going to start with us. And the only way for us to be changed is to start within ourselves. That's it. Okay? There you go. Yes, he can. You got it. Yes, you do, Kat. You got the victory. Yes. So I love y'all. I thank y'all for joining me. Y'all shared a video. I absolutely love you guys. I want you to do what you do best. That is being you. God bless you. I will see you Sunday night live at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. That's it. And for those who can't catch that um on Star Vision, because the TV's been out, so on Sundays... You can actually just pull it up on the radio or online um, at Oldies 11.70 a.m. Okay? All right. That's it. Thank y'all again. I love you. Good night.